Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Paint Drops. This week, I want to talk about a quick tip in Mari if you want to create an UV shell edge mask. So this mask is really useful for certain situations. Like in this case, I have this uh, my gas mask here. And the way I unwrap this model, I think we talked about this before, I just cut it just like the reference. So as you see here, I had a seam there, so I tried to match it. The thing is, let's say if I wanted to mask that area, I, I would need a, some kind of edge mask if I didn't want to paint it by hand. But if I look at some of the curvatures that I extracted out of Substance or, or ZBrush, as you can see the curvature, it follows the object curvature, of course. Uh, as you can see, it, it isolates the edges here and on the sides, but it does not give us that nice mask on that seam area. As you can see, it doesn't isolate properly because it doesn't recognize this as an ad, the edge of the object. Okay, so let's begin then. So I'm gonna put this one aside and then I'm gonna create an UV mask node. In Mario, you can use layers for this as well. So the UV mask is just a simple node that if we go here to the UV view and we turn on this viewer here, we can see that it just isolates the shells of our, of our object. The beauty of it is that now if we select this UV mask, and I'm gonna turn this into a paint node. So I'm gonna bake this into a paint node because I want to add it this now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a levels adjustment here. And in this adjustment, I'm going to invert. And I want you to pay attention to what's gonna happen around this edge here because now I'm gonna go back to my paint node. I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see a bit better. I'm going to select my paint node. I'm gonna go up here to my filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And then with my preview turned on, I'm just going to increase my amount and my radius here. Make sure that I have my current paint target set up. And then as you can see, it's just blurring that edge there, right? Then I'm just gonna do this and apply and right now you're like, oh, but this doesn't look like anything. But when we turn off this, you can see that we have some information there. And because we have the levels here, we can play with this and increase these values. And now you probably guess what's, what happened then. Look at that. So now we have information around the UV edges. And again, you can just keep playing with this and you can blur again. You can make it like solid and you can do whatever you want. Uh, I'll, you can do the same thing if you export this UV mask and you bring it into Nuke or Photoshop or any other editing software, you can get the same result. I just like to do the Simari because it just saves me time. I don't have to bring it to Nuke or anything. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip. And as always, I see you next week.